Parissa says, Jonathan, dear, lovely Jonathan, how do we know if we're ready for a relationship? Okay, first, you know what your standards are. You know what your standards are. As I shared earlier in this video, my standard is we spend three or four days and nights a week together doing shared activities, hobbies, mutual interests, spending time with family and friends, traveling together, teamwork building skills, both in our personal and professional life, intimacy, both physical and emotional intimacy with the desire of either moving into either or getting married. Ultimately, it takes this one thing. I believe this is my latest conversation that's been going on in my head to really help you get clarity on what it takes to actually be in a relationship, to actually be in a fully committed relationship. Folks, until human beings can reach that point of saying, I'm willing to take care of somebody, I'm willing to take care of somebody, you know, through thickness and thin, through, through thickness and thin, through uh, better or worse, through sickness and health, through richer or poorer, until you actually can reach that point where you want that before you even meet a person saying, I am ready to take care of someone. So for those folks that say, I don't want to be a nurse or purse, well, guess what? You're setting yourself up for failure because I know what you mean. You don't want to choose men who are sick and you don't want to choose men who are broke. I get it. But guess what happens? What if you fall in love with someone, you got married, and the day after you got married, they got sick and they lost all their money in the market? Would you abandon them or would you take care of them? Until human beings reach a point of saying, I'm ready to take care of somebody, then guess what? Midlife relationships are mostly going to be casual relationships. Let me repeat that. Midlife relationships are going to be casual relationships until you reach this level of saying, I'm ready to take care of another human being. I'm going to tell you something. This awareness came to me just recently. Now, part of this is after my divorce, I'm going to be candid with you. After my divorce, I, I didn't feel very appreciated in my marriage, and we certainly had a contentious divorce. In fact, it was all about the money, the money, the money, the money. And I began to resent my ex-wife, and quite frankly, I began to resent women in general, because on some level, the dating process comes with the expectation that men are supposed to be the providers and, and pay for everything without any genuine uh, reciprocation. And it was mostly coming out of expectation. So I resented women for a long time, for a very long time. I'm being, this is very sincere. Now I've healed that, I've healed that, but many men feel the same way. They feel a sense of resentment especially if they went through a contentious divorce. And then for the longest time, I didn't want to take care of anyone because I didn't have the resources to take care of anyone. I was flat out broke after my divorce because of the market crash of 2008. So I didn't feel like I was capable of taking care of someone. And then I literally was having this awareness the other day. I actually was sitting out on my balcony, sipping uh, some well, sipping some wine. This is my coffee mug that says, swear a little, you'll feel better. Um, I was sitting on my balcony and I said to myself, I'm ready to take care of somebody. I'm ready to be there, richer or poor, thick or thin, sickness and health. I'm ready. And it took that awareness to shift. And I feel like just that shift alone is going to shift how I attract the right partner in my life. It takes wanting to be ready to take care of someone. Is this sinking in? Is this resonating? And I know, ladies, you are natural caretakers, but ultimately it's going to require the man to want to be a caretaker in this relationship as well. It's going to require the man to reach that point to say, I want full commitment. Instead of, remember I showed you the commitment here, the definition of commitment, the state or quality of being dedicated to a common cause. That common cause is I want to take care of you. You mutually want to take care of one another. Sadly, most men enter the dating process thinking commitment is a restriction of freedom. This is why I encourage you all to ask better questions in the dating process. This is why if you need some help, check out the link to a discovery call with me to see if working with a coach is right for you. I teach you how to ask those better questions early in the dating process so you don't spend time with the wrong guy 
you actually determine. And one, I'm going to give you a hint. The first question you should ask a guy, what does commitment look like for you? What does it look like for you? What does, that's a powerful question. But Jonathan, I'm not supposed to interrogate a guy on the first date. Folks, you should be interrogating the motherfucker as much as you can before the penis goes inside the vagina. And if you haven't read the book, Eight Dates by Drs. John and Julie Gottman, you should be reading this and buying two copies before you have sex with a guy. And folks, you're not ready for a relationship until you know this book backward and forward and forward and backward and backward and forward. And you better also get a, the companion, not the companion book, but the book Nonviolent Communication by Marshall Rosenberg, because most of you women and men especially are terrible at your communication skills. So if you listen, I know I was yelling. Let me take a deep breath. I yell because children, you're going to touch fire. Folks, you're not ready for a relationship, a healthy relationship until you know the mechanics to a healthy relationship and you have good communication skills and you're ready to take care of someone. So that's my invitation for everyone today. Is this sinking in? Is this resonating? If it's yes, give me a thumbs up. All right. I think that answers your question, Parisa. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. All right, 